He's pretty nervous actually, which is just kind of funny because he's never nervous hardly about anything. I think we're gonna try to turn these two into like a rolling island. With summer now in full swing, it has been nothing short of pure, blissful, beautiful, and unrelenting chaos around here. Keeping busy and active is what helps keep us young at heart and feeling great, but these past few weeks have been extra crazy, even for us. Teddy just got called out just in the nick of time. We just finished planting the garden. We've spent more time than we care to admit trying to repair our docks. We can enjoy the warm summer days and stunning sunsets by the lake. We battled this thing over and over and over, and we were about to give up. We we're trying to save it as best we can so we don't have to buy new decking and everything. So we have these barrels left over from, we usually put them on the sauna as like kind of stabilizers. Oh, those are solid. I think these two should float it, right? <laughs> so we're gonna try to reuse the barrels, reuse the dock and try to make a floating dock just to get us through this year. And then maybe next year we can make an investment and in actual buy actual like things for a floating dock. But I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not, but. Mission complete. And we are already enjoying our free upcycled floating dock. Gardening is also underway, so we, of course, picked the hottest day of the year to decide to sow our seeds using a few time and back saving tricks. If you could learn one thing from us, it's this trick right here. Saves your back. It may not be 100% accurate, but it's cheaper than a cedar. It's been a few weeks now, and we are thrilled to report that everything has been growing quite nicely despite the crazy storm we got the same night we planted. Big surprise praying that it's all gonna be okay. <laughs> With all of these extra projects going on, some foreseen, some unexpected, we of course didn't get as far as we wanted to on the kitchen cabinets this week, but it's a good thing we like surprises because the one we got was the best kind possible. So to all of our pine cones and pine needles, welcome back, thanks for following along, and stick around to see the best reason we can think of for project delays. I know what you're thinking, like, wait a minute, didn't we already do this? Well, we did. It's been a very crazy, hectic week. To and, say the least. To say the least. But today, we had put the cabinet priming on hold until we got these bad boys. My sister-in-law, Jenna's sister, Claire, thank you so much. She found the cabinets. The identical cabinets, what we had, and... She actually brought them down to us from an hour away. So yep. thank you, Claire. We owe you. <laughs> yeah, we just got them yesterday. So today we have to do basically the same thing that we did in the previous video. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. But we've got to take these things apart, clean them, maybe do a little rust reforming on some certain spots, get them to the house, and then we can start the priming process on all the cabinets as one unit. It just saves us time because we don't have to clean the paint sprayer. Mm -hmm. We can just do it all in one shot, get one coat on everything and see what they look like after one coat of primer, so. Yeah. But anyways, that's what we're doing today. We're getting these babies primed. Yep. <laughs> we're, I'm very excited, but I'm very nervous at the same time. Cause we've never, we've never done this before. It's, it's another thing. It's gonna be fine. So we're gonna just, fly by the seat of our pants and see what we can do with these old metal, rusty, nasty 1950s cabinets. Let's shoot. Oh, pine beetle. Shoot from the hip, people. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. Yep. Having fun? Just sweating. Why do we always pick the hottest days? Okay, we got the cabinets all loaded up, ready to go. Um, CJ, we dropped him off at camp earlier, so he's gonna be at camp for two weeks. We're gonna bring these cabinets to the house and start painting. Fingers crossed, everything goes <laughs> smoothly and we can be done quick. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but 
Our goal is for to get every single cabinet Skeeter. primed and ready for the next coat of paint. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do you guys remember these? Reduce, reuse, recycle. See how these have like a hook, like a finger? Mm -hmm. Put a wire through there. Wherever it hangs, put a nail here. Yep. You know, spray them. And then you, you should be able to even just spin them like this. Yeah. Spray the backside. Yeah, these cabinets, just they have so many shelves. There's so many different parts. <laughs> A little bit overwhelming, but so we're just, like he said, we're just going to like basically hang all the shelves up along the rafters and spray them front and back one by one, get those done and out of the way, and we'll move on. I mean, seriously, they're everywhere. Oh, we can even remember where they go. Or is that going to be too floppy? I I don't know. We're just going to have to try it. This will do. You can take it off in here like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Spin that side. Yep. You might need a bigger nail. Biggest ones I can find. <laughs> Always modifying, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that what you're gonna start with? All the shelves? Yeah, shelves first. See how that goes. And then work our way through this slew of a lot of cabinets. Holy moly, is it overwhelming? Ready? Ready as it'll ever be. If I got to come to you this morning and just lift up this project in your name, we can just think for the state of your name and pray. Yeah. Right. Let me out. Teary guy on that one. Just got me like nervous for some reason. I don't know. I know. I'm not really sure how to react because you never get nervous. <clears throat> like I said, I think if we were rattle canning them, I think I'd be totally fine. I wouldn't be, but I'm like nervous with the new sprayer, I think. Well, I've got the roller, so it's okay. And we're practicing on the, the shelves. shelves and everything. So yeah, you're going to be fine. You're going to do great. Let's do it. Don't forget the old WD-40 trick to keep your sprayer looking brand new. Get a good wipe. Paint will not stick to it. This is it. <laughs> Don't get scared. <laughs> You got this, hon. And I've got your back if you don't. It's all good. I mean, but seriously, it took you 20 seconds to do those. I mean, it's worth it.
the first cabinet primed. Looks pretty dang good. Okay, so we're about two thirds of the way done. Jenna just left to go get more paint because of course we ran out. I think in the beginning we had our pressure wrong on our sprayer. So we were sending out a lot more paint than we needed. I think we were down in like the 1000 PSI and we, towards the end, we made it all the way up to like 2200 PSI and it just, it missed it more. The paint comes out even, but at least we were started with the shelves. So those probably have a lot more paint than they really truly need, but we're just making our way through. It's, it's actually working very well so far. And it's not gonna take long and we'll be done with the first round of primer. So yeah, they're looking good. Bring the goods. Got them. Welcome to my paint shop. Ooh. I'm just coming off a coffee break. You have coffee? Not anymore. We're gonna finish these cabinets, aren't we? Sure are. What are you doing over there? Fixing one of your mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's on a side though. You would never see it. No, you wouldn't. But yeah, I got a little too rammy and put a little bit too much paint over there. Do I need to hit that with the sprayer again? No, the answer is <laughs> not more paint, honey. <laughs> I could not get the shelf out of that one, so we're just gonna just go with it. We're just gonna go with it. I think that might have been the way to do it. Stop, are you serious? <clears throat> we should have just left them in. I was gonna say, we're gonna find out that this would have been the better way to do it. I mean, if you change where your cap, where your shelf is, it won't look right, but. Oh, true, that is true. Okay, we are done. Done with, with the primer. primer. We're not doing a second coat because this stuff went on thick. Yeah. So I'm just going to go on camera right now and say, not it. For what? Cleaning? Cleaning the sprayer. You know what? I'm going to clean my roller and you can clean the sprayer. <laughs> I am full of paint. I was very nervous and I'll be the first one to admit that I kept putting this off and putting this off and not wanting to do this, but it turned out good. Mm -hmm. I think it's more about the quality of paint you, you choose. Totally. This primer was not cheap. Sherwin-Williams, we stand by Sherwin-Williams. Mm -hmm. They- Not sponsored. Not sponsored, but <laughs> their paint, it's good paint. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's not cheap, it covers, it's and it, it it's, it's definitely worth it, but you, you also pay for it. But we're also saving thousands of dollars by not having to get new cabinets for this kitchen. So step two, complete. complete. Next up is paint. What color are we gonna pick? <laughs> chartreuse. If it ain't chartreuse, it, it ain't, ain't no, no use. use. That's right. Take me home, back to fields of 
Oh my gosh, I can feel her puppies now. What? Yeah. Maybe I just wasn't being patient enough before. That is so cute. She really ate that many squirrels? <laughs> <laughs> she feels like she is. So this is the reason <laughs> we weren't able to get as much done this week as we thought we were going to because this mama decided to have nine puppies a week early. Didn't you, mama? She's doing so good. The babies are doing so good. <laughs> You're like a little kid in a candy store. Like, is is this not something that every person dreams of doing? <laughs> Just being completely covered by puppies. Just wait till they can bite you. Oh my gosh, I don't even care. I can't wait. Don't you know my voice? I've been calling, singing melodies, and I've been lost in dreams of being home again with you. So tell me where you want to go, cause you belong. One of the first dates that Jenna and I ever went on. She helped the turtle get across the road, so kind of got a soft spot for, I see a turtle on the road, so. Well, they say to help him across the road and put him in the right direction of where they're headed. I don't know where he's going, but there's water on this side and there's water on that side. So he's more pointed towards that way, we'll help him out. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even flipping videotaping. No. no. 